The construction of the new Holland Park Secondary School within the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea will be complete in 2013. This state school will be one of the finest in the country, providing exceptional learning opportunities for future generations of children. Over the coming weeks and months, the old school buildings will be demolished and work will progress on the construction of the new school building. Incredibly, the school will continue to function during the construction of the new building and any disruption to the pupils and staff will be kept to a minimum. The construction of a temporary school building is well underway and will be up and running by the time the pupils and staff return to school for the new term. The phasing of the site works when constructing new and temporary school buildings on an occupied site is a key element to the success of a smooth transition from the old school building to the new. The architect and design teams have worked very closely with our building control department to ensure that every aspect of the building's design is fully assessed and results in a safe building. At Building Control we're very proud to be involved with the project to build the new school at Holland Park. Now you may not know what Building Control actually do and what we are we're like a third party independent check and what we want to do is make sure that building's built right first time so that it's on budget and on time which is very very important at these times. Now there's many aspects that we check, we look at things like foundations, drainage, energy conservation, access for disabled and also acoustic conditions which are particularly important in school buildings. Now how we do this, we're involved often up to a year in advance, we deal with uh, the architects and their consultants and fire engineers and also we have close liaison with our colleagues at the Fire Authority which also often come to site in advance. What we're also able to do is mark up plans electronically. Uh, people email us their plans, we're able to put the details on drawings and email back our comments to them. What happens then, obviously the works are on site and then we're doing like daily visits to do the site inspections for the foundations and look at drainage and these kind of things. Obviously towards the end of the project we will issue a completion certificate once we've done all our final checks. Now at the moment we're building the temporary classrooms and the temporary reception block. This is on site at the moment and we are carefully checking all that to make sure that that building is ready for when the school opens again at the start of the new school year. The concept behind the school was to take the existing 1960s campus style buildings and almost squeeze all of that building up into one large single block. The whole idea behind that was to free as much open space for the pupils so that they can have improved sports facilities and play areas for the future. At the moment the buildings are very widespread all over the place and they break up the spaces which means they're not of actually that much use or value to the school or to the students. By compressing the building into a large single block which decreases the footprint but goes slightly higher than the existing four-storey buildings, it goes to nearly six storeys, we therefore need to get uh, a large amount of natural light and daylight through into the heart of the building. Behind the concept of the main block is a large 100 metre atrium that forms the heart and soul of the school. It will be the central circulation space, it will be the place where everybody meets, it will be a centre for their learning, but it means that it's a light and open and airy space, something that the current school actually has, but we're doing this with inside the new proposed school. <laughs> 